What's up, bros? Good morning, good morning, good morning. I guess good evening to a lot of you guys as well. Um, hope everybody is doing good and is chilling. Um, I was really excited for today, man. Uh, I was really, really very excited for um, the stream today, man. With Friday Fortnite going on, um, you know, and the hype of new things coming eventually in FIFA. I was excited in general for streams um, and just ex excited for today. But, uh, you know, last night, I guess something happened that kind of brought up um, a little bit of bad vibes and bad feelings and stuff um, for me specifically. So, I have to talk about and 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 call out the, uh, the elephant in the room. Um... I don't think that it's any secret to anybody uh, that myself and Castro aren't friends. Um, I guess now specifically, it's no real secret to anybody that myself and Bateson aren't friends. Um, and, you know, that kind of just is what it is. Um, I think in life, you can't always expect to be friends with everybody. And uh, you can't always expect to have everybody like you. Um, I'm old. Uh, I'm old enough to understand that not everybody is going to like you in this world. Um, you know, and, 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 and that's something you have to live with. And I think for basically the history of my career, uh, as you guys all know, myself and Castro have had a very rocky relationship. Um, in large part due to my immaturity, I think in large part due to Castro's immaturity as well. I think we're both at fault for the toxic, fake, like, relationship that we've had over the years. Um, and I think myself and Bateson, uh, have suffered from that toxic, fake relationship over the year as well. Um, I, I would be lying to you guys if over the last five or six years... Uh, there were points in time where I would have considered Bateson uh, a friend. Um, but I think consistently over the years, um, there's been things that have caused us to, to, to fall out uh, very early on in my career. Uh, like back in 2013 or 2014, I got blocked by Bateson, uh, subsequently got unblocked. Uh, a few years later, uh, we were kind of back to being friends. You know, he would take shots at me um, and then... I took like one shot at him and then he blocked me um, years later and then again unblocked me again um, and stuff like that. So there's always been like a, a like walking around on glass type of thing feeling in terms of a relationship with myself and Bateson. Um, a, as mentioned, I was one of the founding fathers of Fatal. Not that I created the series, but I was one of the founding people to participate in that series. Um over the years, when, you know, Bateson fell out with a lot of people, I continued to play in Fatal uh, with Bateson. Never had any bad words to say about him. Um, I mean, still to this day, even if people want to disrespect me or dislike me or take shots at me behind my back, um, whether that's anybody specifically, um, it is what it is. They're entitled to dislike me or, you know... Um, do stuff like that that that's just uh the way of the world but i guess the long story short of it is is i think myself and bates have just had a rocky relationship uh over the years and um i want to repeat that it's nobody's fault if someone doesn't like someone else this is a community there's lots of different people, lots of different minds, lots of different brains. Um, and if you don't like me, that's fine. All right. I get it. I There's a lot of parts of me that I wish I could improve. I know there's a lot of parts of me that, um, you know, rub people the wrong way. I'm loud. I'm obnoxious. I can be a bit of a cunt. Um, uh, uh, I can be a bit of a, a, of a dickhead. But... I'd like to think, outside of my rocky relationship with Castro over the years, him and myself have butt heads a lot of times, especially early on, um, uh, for various reasons. And again, I, I will take the blame there too. Um, you know, I was very immature back in 2013 and 2014. So, um, 
that's that's on me as much as it's on anybody else. Um, I'm not throwing blame or throwing shit at anybody uh, specifically. But I, I, I want to reiterate, I understand if Castro doesn't like me. I'm not friends with Castro. That's fine. That's not, that's not drama. That's, it is what it is. You're not going to be friends with everybody. Uh, he doesn't like me. That's also fine. I don't, I don't have confirmation whether he does or doesn't. Although, you know, uh, at least it seems like that is definitely the case with the type of banter and um, shots that are being taken at, at me semi-regularly. Um, but at the end of the day, that's fine if he doesn't like me. And again, that's also fine if Bateson, as he alluded to, I think yesterday, has grown apart from me or other content creators and stuff like that. Again, that's fine. I don't expect or need everybody to like me or everybody to be my friend or everybody to follow me or everybody to support what I do. I get it. You don't like me. Whatever your reason is, you don't like me. But that is where certain things kind of take a tough turn. It's one thing to dislike me. It's another thing entirely live on your stream, on Bateson's stream or Castro's stream or Pistol Pete's stream or whoever's stream to take these snide shots at me at a mistake I made three years ago. The whole get it out thing, the whole like abuse and stuff, the uh, Pistol Pete saying like that that publicly in Castro's stream while they're playing in GTA races and then Castro and Bateson laughing about that stuff like that is direct shots at me again I understand if you don't like me I get it but do you have to constantly drag my name through mud like I fucked up period way back then that was almost three years ago as well how are we making this a meme and and doing disrespectful stuff like that from something that happened three years ago. Are we not all supposed to be adults and men and 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 try to be good examples to people? Is that really a great example to just be taking unnecessary shots at people? Like genuinely, dude, I understand I'm a dickhead. I understand I've made mistakes in the past, definitely. Um, and those mistakes I've made deserve criticism and deserve the hate that I got. But it's three years down the road. Do you need to be like that? Do you need to take shots like that from two massive content creators from the community? Again, I'm not asking for people to like me. I'm not asking for anybody in specific uh, from the top upper echelons of the FIFA community to the bottom echelons of the FIFA community to the viewer base of the FIFA community. I'm not asking for people to like me, but do you need to take those types of shots while in the meantime up until yesterday still pretending to be my acquaintance pretending to be my friend following me on twitter having an emote of me bald in your channel resubscribing to my channel randomly sporadically throughout the years it's just it's like an abusive girlfriend in a lot of ways in that there's a lot of ways where you visibly make it understood that you dislike me but then randomly throughout the days you come back and are part of certain things that i do uh, it just is a little bit confusing so all that i ask um and again i just needed to call out the elephant in the room all that i ask is that my viewer base is responsible and respectful um i don't want you guys to to, to take shots at castro to take shots at Bateson, to take shots at anybody else in the community that dislikes me. Or even if it continues on from here and Pistol Pete or Castro in, in their GTA or in their streams take shots, snide comments about me. I don't want you guys to attack them in any way, shape or form. I just wanted to air that because I just find that just doesn't need to happen. It, whether or not you like me or dislike me, that type of stuff to me um, doesn't need to happen. Like. I, I, I just find that very below the bar of what we should be setting um, within the FIFA community in, in, in my eyes. So um, from here, I think at least finally that's been aired. Um, myself and Bateson are not friends and that's fine. It is what it is. Um, no matter what's happened in the past and the things that are said behind closed doors or the things that are said 
slyly in other people's streams all of that stuff pushed behind i i i wish castro i wish bateson the best in the future i'm sure they'll continue to be massive content creators on youtube on twitch or whatever streaming platform they choose um but it's i think known at this point that i'm not friends with them i, I i'm doing my very best in my life to not hate anybody i'm not gonna throw shade at castro or bateson or or, or 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 go to a level like that i just want to leave it i just want to leave it there i just wanted for you guys to know that i mean come on man it's not really a secret right that that myself and castro aren't buddy buddy that, that, that's not a secret it is what it is we're two grown adults and so be it you know it's all good so i'm just gonna leave it there um you know with bates and unfollowing me yesterday on twitter it was kind of just like all right you know fair play at least he's honest about it now um and that's fine and and, and i respect that so i've kind of just removed myself at this point from from all of it and a bit hypocritical because obviously i'm talking about it right now but i needed to mention it at least once uh so that there's a point of reference um and then we'll move on from here like i've got my community i have you guys you guys are incredibly supportive and i'm very grateful um and check me if i ever slip from what i'm trying to do here all right if i'm sitting there and and i start talking shit or making fun of other content creators i don't know that i ever have other than the rocky relationship that castro and i had very early on in 2013 2014 um i don't know that i have ever done something like that uh and if i do do that in the future please call me on that all right because i don't want to be that guy i've never been that guy and I don't ever want to go to that level. So we're just going to leave it there. Um, but I did want to just address that whole situation because, you know, it is what it is. You can't be friends with everybody in any community. You guys will learn this in your high school. You'll learn this in your job. You'll learn this in your career. You won't be able to be friends with every single person in your life, both in full contact and in small contact, right? You'll be in a class with people that you'll see every single day and there'll be people that just don't like you. Maybe some people are shitty. Some people are nice, but they don't like you. It doesn't really matter. But at the end of the day, you'll you'll figure that stuff out as well that, you know, not everybody's going to like you. And, and, and I figured out very early on and, you know, now more than ever that not everybody's going to like me in the FIFA community either. And fair play. Fair play. I'm a twat cunt a lot of the time. I get it. So... We'll leave it at that, all right, dudes? Um, onwards and upwards, no ill will to anybody in the FIFA community. I just hope this constant back shots and shit like that uh, about me from other content creators can stop. I don't feel like I've ever done anything disrespectful um, in a grand way, especially over the last few years, to any content creator to warrant something like that being done towards me, um, especially from people that are really, really big in the community, but even people that are smaller in the community. I don't understand what i've done to cause that type of level of disrespect i feel like i've done so much in my past to try and help out the small content creators rating small content creators being supportive of all the things small and big content creators do so that type of stuff and seeing clips of stuff like that um over the last weeks and 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 being part of a stream where a couple of relatively well-known content creators in the fifa community were taking shots at me because they didn't think I was there, even though I just so happened to be in the stream. That type of stuff just comes as a shock to me. I, again, I, I don't know that I've ever done anything uh, to warrant that level of banter or abuse or memeing or anything, but um, we'll leave it at that, all right? Uh, I'm gonna stop it there, uh, onwards and upwards. Um, so I love you guys. And from here forward for the launch of FIFA 20, uh, it should be good times and good vibes. And I, again, I will end it on Let's just concentrate on us. Bit hypocritical. Again, I understand because of me talking about all of this, but it just needed to be said once and for all. Um, and I'm just going to talk about, and, and we're just going to continue on as our own um, community. All right, dudes? I also don't want to just pretend like I'm the good guy and the best guy on planet Earth. I have plenty of faults. Um, as you guys see on a daily basis with me streaming, basically my life, 8 to 12 hours a day, you see me at my best and my worst. You guys all know full well i'm not this angel I, and i have plenty of faults period um so let's just move on and 
I'm going to try and just be a better version of myself every single day and, and come FIFA 20. I'm hoping I can bring some fun content and feel good vibes and, and, and stuff like that uh, to those of you guys in my community or those of you guys that still uh, enjoy my content. So I love you dudes and, uh, and God bless and let's just, let's just get into it, I suppose.